Uh, welcome to IS250. I am Professor Fami Jalani. Today we'll be taking a look at uh, Lab 7.24, uh, which will be going through uh, create classes. And the example today we'll be covering will be uh, a car value. So uh, this program essentially uh, will require the user to input three values, which is the year of the car, uh, the price, and and the current value. Right. Oh no, the current year. Okay. Right. So being car fan so let's jump into it okay so over here we see we have the car value dot java uh, essentially there's two program okay um, so over here we we have the um, program which is already been uh, uh, written uh, basically uh, this is essentially to uh, read the input from the uh, user uh, so we begin with importing the scanner and also the math functions declaring the car value file okay this is this um, class again a static void main okay uh, followed by the scanner function uh, next we have the new car uh, integer car user user year user price and user current year and next uh, you set the value okay uh, based on the model you set the purchase price and then calculate okay the current value and print info right so uh, basically uh, we'll be modifying the car dot value sorry uh, the car dot java okay function which uh, will be sent over okay um, the public class for car where essentially the program is going to be okay so in private integer model year so so you need to declare another private integer purchase price price okay is to declare the purchase price was it the initial value so you have the public void set year model and the get year model right so next uh, we need to create the method uh, in this case will be the set price so actually we can borrow this for a while okay. so set price changes to set price okay all right set price okay without the inverted commas integer uh, this is unit price okay. okay user price this is user price and what is user price so user price is purchase price so you change this to small is equal to user price okay right 
and don't forget the curly bracket okay same thing you need to define the method for the get price so in get price you need to uh, this is an integer okay get price get purchase price and carry about this so you need to return purchase price okay let's organize the program a bit so we have a public void current calculate the current value in the current so double depreciate so depreciate 0.1 percent right car age is current year minus model year okay and car depreciation formula is the math round of purchase mass power one minus depreciation rich car age and lastly you need to to print uh, the information which is public void print f print sorry info oops clear bracket my bad uh, system dot out dot print line line not i line so you will have the so you can copy on there so you can copy all of it okay copy there cross information don't forget your with the commas okay okay oops bracket there so you can have this two again okay let's create some space here and okay another space remove this oops this is basically the model small caps model year okay and again So you need to remove this to don't forget. Surely this should be here. Oops. And this is plus which is price. So the current value would be current value. Right. And followed by close bracket all right okay 
So let's see whether it works. So you will input this. And try and run it. Uh -huh. So essentially here we have the cost information, the model year is 2011 and purchase price at this right 18,000 and current value is 5,770 so, uh, so we see two different Java, Java program where the first one okay, will basically uh, um, scan for the value and then set the price and these are functions that's being called by the other program cal.java right where you declare um, the model year purchase price current uh, value okay and um, from there the values are being passed over to the calculator okay uh, to get the uh, current value all right Uh, the next program will be um, looking at uh, classes and constructors. Um, the example here is uh, in lab 7.26 will be Nutri National Information. Here the user will input, in this case, uh, MMs, and they will calculate the number of fats. Um, Carbohydrates, protein, and about calories per serving. Okay. Um, so let's straight go into the program. Here we have uh, nutritional info dot Java and which already been uh, designed, uh, and also a food item which we'll be taking a look later on. Which that's where the code will be. Um, so in notional info.java we have the scanner to scan the input, the class and also the file name which is notional info. This is basically the main program. Um, the scanner function. Okay, new. Uh, so the string item. Uh, declare double for fats, carbs, protein. Okay. And food item two. Um, this is basically in the event we have two different item. Okay. Um, and the printout statement. Right. Let's take a look at uh, food item Java. So we have here again a public class for the program. Okay. All right. String name, fat, carbs, and protein. So we need to declare the constructor, uh, which is basically public food item. name let's go to none okay fat let's go to 0, 0 0.0 carbs is equal to 0, 0.0 0, 0 and protein Uh, constructor argument uh, this is basically to initialize the uh, okay. the variables so you have public 
for eight string username double user fit amount okay and double user count amount okay and also we have double user protein okay. Basically, is the username. Okay. The fat. Let's go to user fat. And cops. Let's go to user. Uh, protein is equal to user protein come on right followed by copy break So here we have the formula. Okay, and the pinout statement. So let's try to insert some values here for M and M. User protein food item. Nine twenty one. Forget something. Oh, there's a spell error here. So you have to be careful with your spell error. So here we have the output. Okay. Um, this is basically the first part, which is none. And here we have for eminence we have the fat, carbohydrate and protein, and about calories in one serving is 234. Right? Okay, that's pretty much it for lab 7. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please feel free to email me or drop by my office uh, for an appointment. Uh, stay safe and wear a mask and social distance. Thanks. Bye-bye.